Often, we keep on blaming the situations we are put in or the people around us for something that happened against our will. However, it is important to understand that life is all about unpredictable challenges. There's no preserved formula to overcome them. All you need is to remain in your spirit and act wisely. Instead of blaming the world for something, challenge yourself to be stronger and better than what you were yesterday. Only you will be able to make things fall into their places, no one else. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Wales. I'm a mom, I'm a health educator, and through struggles of my own, I found solutions for health, fitness, amazing positive community, and financial freedom that I'm excited to share with you. Today I'm going to be talking about how when life gets hard, there's only one thing we can do to make life easier, and that's for us to get stronger. I'm also going to give you the correct way to do a burpee. So please like, please share. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. I'd like to bring as much value to as many people as I can. So I am so excited. My team is doing an 11 day shred challenge to get ready for spring. Spring is 30 days away. And here in at least California, it's getting warm. And we want to rock our spring dresses, right ladies? And guys, the ladies are gonna be rocking their spring dresses, if you know what I mean. So let's get ready to be able to wear those spring clothes and summer clothes coming up soon. So our Cleanse with Friends 11 Day Shred Challenge is going to give us a fresh start. We get results with this program and it's going to be a lot of fun. You're gonna have a lot of coaching, recipes, workout ideas, you're gonna be in a group with other people doing it too. And like I said, we get results. So don't let this shopping season for spring get harder for you. You get stronger. <laughs> a little bit more on that now. So there's lots of ways that when we get stronger physically, it carries over into other areas in our life. So if we get stronger physically, our life gets easier. And here's seven ways. This is by Mia Shank. She wrote an incredible book called Better Body by Minimalism, The Bare Essentials for Extraordinary Results. Definitely check that out if it looks like something that will benefit you. But she talks about seven ways that we become stronger and make our life easier. And I'm gonna go over those really quick with you. So first of all, the strength carryover effect. Being physically strong will have a positive effect on other activities in your life. So whether that be improving your game and performance when you are in your sport of choice, right? If you're playing softball as an adult or you're playing soccer or you're a martial artist like myself, it becomes easier the stronger we get. Let me tell you, sparring is one of the best cardio activities out there and if you can increase your ability to sustain cardio activities by becoming stronger, sparring gets easier. And of course that goes for fighting too, right? Okay, and if you're a grandparent or a parent, when we are not feeling our best, it's hard to be a good grandparent and parent. Kids take a lot of energy. And I know so many moms and dads who struggled with feeling like they weren't being their best selves, but they were just so exhausted. They just didn't have any energy because their health was at such a low level. They hadn't taken care of themselves. They let themselves go. And so no matter what, you become stronger, your life will become more awesome. Okay, number two, it increases your self-confidence and your body image. I really believe that having good body image and self-confidence is not a vanity issue for most people. For most people, this is being emotionally healthy. I also think a lot of people misinterpret a subconscious message that is an alarm that says you've stopped taking care of yourself and this is going to cause things like chronic disease. They've mistaken that signal 
as being vanity because of what the media puts out. It's confusing for us because of the media images. But guys, when you're starting to feel that you need to lose weight, when you're starting to feel that maybe you need to gain some lean muscle, why don't you look at that instead of from the vanity point of view, but as the health point of view? That extra visceral fat around our stomach is really dangerous. That interferes with our organs and that contributes to our risk of chronic disease. So having a positive and self-confidence is good emotionally. It's also very good to listen to when we have a low confidence and low body image that this might be an alarm. Our subconscious is telling us that we aren't our best health. So we boldly face the world when we are confident and embrace its limitless opportunities or at least are more willing to do so before than before. So if you um, ever been to a high school reunion, then you might hear about people who didn't want to go because they didn't feel comfortable in their body. Or maybe you didn't go to your high school reunion because you were a little ashamed that you let yourself go and you didn't want everyone to know. This is a wake up call guys. This is just your body and mind telling you, hey, let's take care of ourselves. Number three, demolish self-imposed limitations. Strength training has a way to make you realize, wow, I didn't know I could do that. And I'm sure that anyone who's been training or listening to this have felt that. It's amazing. And when you see how your body responds to training and how actually, once you're committed and dedicated, it's pretty easy <laughs> to make your body get the results that it needs if you know what you're doing and if you're keeping it simple. Number four, enhance your willpower groove. This is super important and really interesting. I've come across this a lot in research. Several studies have revealed that willpower is essentially contagious. When you successfully increase your willpower in one area, doing three strength training workouts per week consistently, for example, that willpower spills over into other areas of your life. This can explain why people who start exercising regularly also become more motivated to get their finances in order and vice versa. Willpower has been shown in research to be just like muscles. You can increase it and make it stronger. So don't be surprised when you start making better choices in other areas of your life once you start consistently strength training. Number five, the one trip grocery max. And I have a great story of this. So admit it, you all attempt the one trip grocery max. We don't want to go back and forth from the car. One of my dear clients, oh, I love her so much. She told me about how one day she came in that she had to carry her groceries from the car upstairs into her apartment. And you know, going back and forth for that trip is kind of cumbersome. I've been there, it's not a lot of fun. And so she was celebrating with me one day when she had increased her strength enough that she was able to carry all her usual groceries in one trip. So that made her life easier as she got stronger. Number six, get you asking the question, what else can I do? Strength training increases and unleashes your true potential, relishing this incredible power, you're more likely to examine other areas in your life and take more risks in a good way. So my favorite example of this, like him or not, is Arnold Schwarzenegger. He immigrated to the US, he was into fitness, and he started winning all of these amazing challenges and competitions, Mr. Universe, you know the picture. And then you see him go into politics. It's almost like he said, if I could do this with my body, if I could discipline myself to get this kind of result, what else can I do? Bring it on, you know, he's ready to take on the world. And there's a lot of science behind how hormonally that works and also how our self-concept influences that. And number seven, it helps us focus what truly matters in life. So when you're really into health and fitness guys, it's not so much about what you look like for most people. It's about feeling your best to have the energy because what really matters are the people in your life and being able to be the best version of yourself and give that to the world and add value. So yeah, check out Nia Shank's book. Um, she makes some really great points about just not making it overcomplicated. 
And that is why I love and coach with a complete nutrition system. Today, I am enjoying my Via drink. This is from my wholesale account, and it's as much caffeine as one and a half cups of coffee. It's less than a gram of sugar. We have another one that has zero grams of sugar. Uh, this is Berry Bellini. We also have a Citrus uh, Sunrise, both delicious flavors. It's full of adaptogens. The caffeine's made out of green tea, so that's an antioxidant. And, you know, it gives me that little push that I really enjoy to get the most out of my workouts and make them most effective and efficient. Via amazing, guys. Let's all get stronger. And I have a fantastic example of this. This is Carrie Odetu. She's from Canada, and she was one of our ISA body finalists. This is her before, and this is her after. The physical transformation is so incredible. But, like I just said, her life got so much easier when she was able to transform her body and health. Life is hard when we're not healthy. Our energy being low, I have a lot of compassion for people who struggle with their health and their weight because I've been at that point where I'm so fatigued because of the lack of health in my life. So it's really not about looks as much as it is quality of life. Carrie shares, the ISA body challenge has taught me that I'm in charge of my happiness. Again, ISA Body Challenge uses our complete nutrition system, gives everyone $200 worth of product, and gets you into the running for a $25,000 grand prize. So she says, the ISA Body Challenge has taught me that I'm in charge of my happiness. No one else can determine the set of my sale. It's up to me to make the choices that will ultimately make me feel great and be the best role model possible for my four kids. Now, thanks for sharing, Carrie. You are amazing. You are an inspiration. So just remember that health and fitness is extremely important and you deserve to get it into your life and make it simple. So if you don't have your wholesale account set up yet to make your nutrition simple, convenient, delicious, and affordable, message me or the person who shared this video with you so you don't miss out and you can be on your simplified minimalist health and fitness journey so your life gets easier. Okay, we're going to do a burpee. <laughs> we're gonna do a quick burpee training. So a lot of you who've been in fitness for a long time, oh my gosh, you know what a burpee is. You've been doing them forever. But I've come across a lot of people who have no idea how to do a burpee correctly. So here is how we do a burpee. We're just going to do a few today. Um, some people love them people need to get a little stronger before they really love them, but they're worth it. They are a full body movement. We're going to have our arms involved, our core involved, our legs involved, our glutes involved, and it gets the heart rate up, especially if you do about 10. If you have a really strong heart, you might need to do more, but most people try around 10. We're going to do five just for purposes of the video. So what is a correct burpee? What you're going to start with is a squat. Make sure that you're not leaning over to do a burpee. You need to use your legs. Sit down like you're in a chair. Stick your butt out, sit down, okay? Like you're in a chair, squat. Then your hands come down, your feet go out, and then you do a push-up. Down and up. Then your feet come back into a squat position, and you do a little jump. And that's one. <laughs> I know people who do this on their bathroom break. I know people who set an interval timer for every hour when they're at home and they do 10 burpees. Heart rate, endorphins, full body movement. Let's do five. Oh, really quick. If um, you're not at the level where you can do a full burpee, here's an alternative for you. You can squat down like you're in a frog position, hands down in the front, you can step back. You can put your knees down if you're unable to do a full push up. Now go down, now go up. Now step back, step back, and give a little hop. It's not as strenuous that way. But let's do five full burpees. Do them with me. If you have time to do more, please do. Here we go. One. Ah, 
All right. Quick beer sip. So really guys, life being hard is when something's unpredictable. Life being hard is when a challenge comes into our path. And I really believe that those kind of challenges will continue to happen in our lives until we learn to grow stronger. I think it's the way that God, the universe, whatever you believe, I believe God is trying to help us grow. So don't buck against challenges. Don't say, life is hard. Say, okay, I'm gonna accept the challenges. I'm gonna grow through it. This is actually an opportunity for growth. So just remember that if you aren't experiencing life getting easier, because you won't, then try to take on a new perspective and help yourself to become stronger. And I would love to help you do that with my complete nutrition system, through coaching, through our amazing community. If you have any questions about this, message me or the person who shared this video with you. And if you don't have your wholesale account set up yet, again, message me or the person who shared this video with you. I'm going to go have my complete meal replacement shake. It's got 36 grams of protein. I literally just take the envelope, add it with water, shake it up, and 36 grams of protein, 23 vitamins and minerals, six probiotics on the go. Please like, please share, please subscribe. I'd like to bring as much value to as many people as I can. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a lifestyle to thrive. Bye-bye.